So could you? So what's the next film you're going to do? Ghosted. Okay, so Ghosted. So who are the main characters in that? Just tell me who, roughly. Okay, so there is an old lag, right? A new uh, fish in the prison prison movie. An old lag, uh, a, a newcomer, and the sort of and the prison. Creep. So, so would one way be out of this would be to say, okay, so uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that there are yeah. no twists in this film. The, the, you're the, wrong. The, the person who we the person who we believe to be the new lag, the, someone who appears to be a fish you're talking about you know what I mean so that yeah. instantly we're not sure of the ground on which we're walking so that you just use that all the time twist terminology yes. all the time in so what seems make... to be a prison in what we think is the present day yes exactly exactly right. okay. there you go there we go would that Fine. work yes yeah, someone who seems to be an old right. lag so take it away Let's sees do... the entry of someone who may or may not be a new fish who is immediately taken under the wing of somebody who gives every impression of being the prison creep this here's work. a clip what are some prizes well Get you started. No buts. No, no, no. I haven't heard of it. Didn't your mum ever tell you? It's rude to not accept a gift. Thanks, really. Look, mate, it's hard enough in here as it is. There's no point writing it off, is there? Checking the label. Not fancy enough for you. I'm Clay. Oh, oh. <laughs> joking. Paul. Will you take care, Paul? Hmm? So, plot spoilering aside, essentially what you have at the beginning is the very familiar setup. You know, the person who's just at the end of their sentence who has been told that actually what they really need to do, somebody's about to, to leave and go and face the real, what they really need to do is to redeem themselves by saving somebody who needs saving. In comes this fresh-faced young boy, obviously somebody who needs saving from the, uh, the predatory uh, prisoner who we just heard there. The interesting thing with this film is that, that, they were, that it came out, well, it's coming out now just a couple of weeks after the Noel Clark film Screwed, which was, you know, it, it suffered to some extent from being generic. And you said yourself, in the porridge world of things, his character was... Grouty, grouty, <laughs> and obviously, whenever you make a British, to a look of bafflement on those faces. Exactly. Whenever you make a, a British uh, prison movie, it will live to some extent with that legacy, and also with the legacy of Alan Clark and you know Scum and things like that. And it's just impossible to get away from them. I mean, those things are. I mean, in fact, funny enough, I was watching. On television the other week, they were showing Clockwork Orange. And, of course, there is that whole scene in Clockwork Orange which you suddenly go, it's porridge. You do keep expecting Norman Stanley Fletcher. You are a habitual criminal. That, OK? The interesting thing with Ghosted was I went in expecting it to be much more of a sort of generic geezery movie than it actually turned out to be. In fact, it has some very strong performances. Martin Compson's very good. John Lynch is very good. Craig Parkinson is very good. It has a, a visual style which uh, belies its very sort of cell-bound setting. I mean, it's not, it's not by any means a really radical or challenging film and in fact as it goes on towards the third act it starts tying itself up in frankly inconceivable plot loops that in a way undermine what's been good about it up until that point but it is mercifully free of the kind of geezery you know white boy sort of yeah, stuff which we get a lot in prison dramas and it does show visual flair and promise and so uh I was I was surprised by what it was. I went in expecting it to be something much more generic, and I came out thinking, well, you know what? That tried to be something different. It aimed a little bit higher, and it is, from, from a performance point of view, it's a pretty solid piece.